Riley just loves to blow my shit up. But what are kids for, right? To blow, they just to blow your shit up, right? Out here, took a walk. Riley, we want to take daily walks now, yo. <laughs> she be over me. I love you, Stink. Grumpy. I love you. Like this. Why are you putting that lip gloss on like that? Stop! Get out my lip gloss. Get out my lip gloss. Alright, look. Close it. Okay. Now. Hey guys, we're here with my mom, and today we're going to Dollar Tree, and then we're getting water rice. Let's go. I really think I need to start sharing with y'all like these are my thoughts and what I've been thinking. So like Karen, what you been thinking? For like the past couple of years I live in Aldi's, like live in Aldi's. And then everybody made it cool, like black and Trader Joe's, black and Aldi's, black here, black there. And I'm like, God, what you trying to say? Like I'm missing my cheese? Cause I've been doing this Aldi stuff. And this Trader Joe's stuff for years now, like Black Joe. I didn't even know what a haul was. Like, oh, let me video my shopping haul. Let me record this. Let me record that. Like, I'm missing out on my niche, 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 my niche. I'm missing out on my niche. Um, but I'm still out here on you in these YouTube streets. I didn't even know YouTube had an algorithm, y'all. Guess who ain't on it? Ain't in it, ain't around it. Get that out your mouth. Ew. Mm -hmm. But look what I got from Aldi's, y'all. We've been looking for this for a while. They finally got it back. And Riley been asking me about it, so I finally got this. And then Riley eats soft tacos. She got me to buy her hard tacos. I, I'm, we gonna see what happens. Uh, yeah, we gonna see what happens. But yeah, like Riley said, we about to go on Dollar Tree. And that's why I wanted to do a day in the life too. Like I we went on a walk. Um, I had my in-home office set up in my bedroom. Y'all had to see me. Um, comfy in bed, taking phone calls, sending emails, answering invoices, looking at the fact that I need more money coming in and less money going out. Um, getting ready for my event. And just being a mom, as always. So we went to Aldi's. Now we're going to Dollar Tree. We're supposed to be going to dinner today. So we kind of trying to kill time until then. So who knows what might be on this video? Who knows what's going to happen next? And it's only Monday. Holla at your girl. Stop a match. It's the face. It's the hair. It's the. Okay. With the For Me song. It's the vibe for me too. <laughs> I am so tired, y'all. Oh God, what do Riley want? Except for 23 for small. Okay, you got five dollars in your hand. Make sure you get your change back. Teach your kids money, yo. My kid be driving me crazy. So I took the braids out and this is how my hair came out. 
when I cut my hair, I vowed that I was going to do no heat for a year. Because I've been natural for like five years. But when I say natural, I don't mean like, oh, I haven't had a perm. No, I don't even know when the last time I had a perm. I mean, I've been natural, like, wear my hair like this, wear my hair in different wet and goes, different twists. Becoming natural was hard because everybody around me was so used to me with straight hair or just them with straight hair or permanent hair or just society's bullshit, you know? But anyway, I came on here to tell you guys that if I'm out the house for too long, I get tired. Now... No, no, just pay me back five dollars. Six dollars I was paying for this war ice. I don't want no war ice today. You gotta pay for all war ice. Anyways, do what you want, be who you want. I don't even know. I'm fucking tired, y'all. I said I was gonna wait to go to dinner with them, and I'm motherfucking tired, y'all. I said I was gonna go to some stores, shoot some content, but look for a gift for my little baby cousin. And I'm tired, y'all. I really am. Go to sleep on the couch. You know what? I'm so tired that the girl in the store was like, I like I, I like your natural hair. And I was like looking around like, who's she talking to? Because I forgot how my hair was, y'all. I did, I did just take it out. So I thought I had the other stuff on my head. But it was just me. Oh, I was saying I wanted to straighten my hair to see how long it was. Um, because even though I was, even though I have been natural, I haven't like done no heat at all. Like I'll do no heat for a couple months, but I didn't do no heat for a straight 12 months. So when a girl cut my hair, she was like, vow, she's like, why don't you vow to no heat for 12 months? I'm like, 12 months, no heat, not a blow, not even a blow dryer. Y'all. Um... And I want to just straighten it to see if I got a bob yet. Because you know you got shrinkage and stuff. I just want to sh straighten it to see if my top. Because my top is pretty long. To, and my hair grows pretty fast. And in my head I'm like. Oh my hair will grow back. Like until bob length by the summertime. But I haven't straightened it. And I really want to. But I, I told myself that I was. Um, not going to do no heat. So I'm going to keep trying to get braids. And see what happens. I be talking to people like they already know what's going on in my head. I don't know if it's the Capricorn in me or what. But um, I went to shoot some content. So when I say shoot content, so I have a um, Instagram page, page that's just for like shopping and thrifting and fashion hauls and stuff like that. Which I need to start trying on those hauls with you guys. What I was saying before I'm called is that um so i have a brand or i'm developing a brand of like thrifting reselling shopping showing shopping hauls um personal shopping mystery boxes all of those things so while i'm building that brand i go to different stores to shop or just to go in and shoot hauls of the things that these stores have or like people may think like oh my god i can never go to formula mills and find something if you look hard enough you can find it people don't like looking i realized that because half of my family or should i say 70 percent of my family shops till you drop the other percent hates it and they hate it because of time they hate it because they feel like they can't ever find anything but they don't like looking so my thing is i look for you to show you that these stores have stuff you just have to look for them to find them um so while i'm out shooting why do you keep doing this on my phone while i'm out shooting content riley thinks we're on a shopping spree every single time i'll be confused like I'm trying to make money here. Like, I'm trying to build a brand here. I'm going to shoot some hauls. But I ain't going to lie, because sometimes I'll be seeing stuff that I want to, and I'll be like, I might have to grab this. But sis, the last two times, she don't even like shopping. And the last two times I went to go shoot content, she was just, came back with a whole bunch of stuff. I was confused. But anyway, I just wanted to give y'all the inside scoop. I'm about to go return, make a return at Walmart. And then we going to dinner with the family. Seven o'clock came real quick though. So here's to my day. 
Yo, I have not been to Red Lobster in like two years, no lie. I haven't had a biscuit in two years, y'all. The fat girl in me. The crazy thing is, I feel like I had a big lunch or maybe because I was talking on the phone for hours and hours today. I'm not even really that hungry. I wanted to take you guys thrifting with me earlier, but my phone was dead. My recording phone was dead. But check out my Instagram. Um, I just came from Aldi's. It's so nice in Philly today. We had water ice. I didn't film that. Um, check out my Instagram too for that. Um, went to Aldi's. I was telling my Instagram fam that once you go brioche, it's no going back. Like, brioche for life. I also went and gave in and bought, and bought this, um... Mother's Day breakfast kit from Pembroke from Aldi. I like it because you get, um, it's just like stationary basically, but it's like stationary that you can use beyond Mother's Day because they have um, food so cool. toppers. Well, it don't have to be just for breakfast. Um, bottle wraps to go on your bottles. Um, do not disturb hangers for your door, which I'm gonna be using it very often room service door hanger for when Riley learned how to cook. But we're basically going to my cousin's for, I don't know if we're gonna do breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner. So I feel like this stuff will be cute. Um, and I'm doing like a little recording because I want to start something called Mom Versations on my mom page. So my cousin don't know, but I'm gonna whip it out on Mother's Day. So that's it for today. What is today? Wednesday? I think I'm going out to dinner and I'm just about to go home and cook for Riley. There's so many things that I want to show y'all this week. So now, I don't know, I'm conflicted because again, like I told y'all before, my videos can't be too long because they won't let me post them. So I started this new face routine. I don't have my ring light, so you can't even see how good it's working. It's working so good, I'm surprised. It's only been day two. Um, and I'm like, I just looked at them, happened to look in the mirror. I'm like, oh, okay, retinol and vitamin C. Is this what we doing? I'm mad I didn't buy more. But I actually want to talk to you about the products because they were at Dollar Tree. And we know how Dollar Tree products go. They could be there today and going tomorrow. So I guess I'll make another video out of it. I want to talk to you guys about, um, I think I was telling you all that, like, I had um, wrapped my table last, I think it was last summer, wrapped my table in, it was like a black marble color. So I wrapped the table in a white gray marble color. And I think I'm going to rewrap it this year. I was thinking about buying a new table, but I'm like, let me just rewrap this one and keep it um, for, a, a, you know, another, another time frame. Uh, I want to show you guys that. Um, it's nice out this week. We're pretty busy. They finally came to cut our lawn. Oh my God, y'all, finally. I'm so hype about that. It looks like my house has a haircut. Like, it just looks so, so phenomenal. But um, yeah, so I just wanna to talk to you guys about different things. So I don't know exactly how long my video from yesterday was, cause we went out and did stuff yesterday too. And then today I have to go to my storage to separate clothes to resell. And also I wanna start doing pop-up shops and flea markets. And then I'm having my second annual give back this year. So I have to separate clothes for that too. And this year is going to be geared towards teens and back to school and like doing a makeover. So I haven't ironed out all the details of that event, but it's in the works. So I'm like booked and busy at this point because I got a June event, a July event. I'm trying to enjoy my summer and be a mom, do stuff for my kid, trips. And then September event, then I probably have like a November and December event. So it's just like, boom, 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 boom. So again, y'all are watching me at the beginning of my process to greatness and y'all are seeing it first. Don't be one of them people that be like, oh, I gotta go look back to her videos from 2020 because who is this girl? Yeah, this girl was living in a two bedroom apartment waiting for somebody to come do the damn lawn and just getting by by the blessings of god so watch where i go 
so I guess we're gonna do this quicker than I saw it so I guess I can throw it in this, this week's video but Riley is now taking the wrap off of the table and she is going to expose what do y'all think though do y'all feel like <laughs> I should keep the black table Riley's saying yeah but I feel like the white just like spruces everything up so no, it's just because like it's it's not this is it's the wall tan. and this is the table but i like often do like like nice bright colors so i feel like it's going to go with white rather than black even though black is my favorite color it just doesn't do it for me especially with no. so i have gold here the i got gold here black. the fridge is black but it's gold here and then it's white here so, and then the freezer is white. Excuse the mess, the freezer is white. Michael. But then look, I covered this in that color and then the microwave is black. So, I was like, this is my table settings for the summer. And like this, sorry, we, we're eating, but like the table's not set right now, of course, because she's doing this, but I really like my white. <laughs> so we gonna say. Hey guys, so it's the end of the week. This week was real busy. Like, I wouldn't even be able to tell you all the stuff we did this week. We did a lot of stuff this week. But I wanted to just wrap up the um, this week's video and share a little bit of how how I be thinking or what I be thinking um, because a lot of people don't understand creatives and a lot of the people just don't understand. Like, I try to tell people all the time. The way my brain works is like, money savings money savings money savings like and when me saying it don't even like there's it's no clarity with me saying it because when you think of it you like oh she just talking about money and saving money or having a savings no so for example this box of 60 eggles right so i went to the store initially because i saw eggles were on sale for two dollars right now, the Eggos that were on sale for $2 is a 10-pick. So, I counted in my head, this is a 60-pick. If I get 10, if I get, um, if I pay $2 for 10, uh, for a 10-pick versus if I pay $10 for a 60-pick. If you do the math and I get 6 for $2... Count with me there. That's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. That'd be $12 for 60. When I could just get the big pox for 10 and I save $2. So that's how I shop. That's how I do things. I never pay full price unless I'm uh, slanging some government assistance, which hasn't been a while. Yes, Riley. All right, here I come. So. If that ain't popping off, I'm very budget friendly. Um, if, you, if somebody got something, let me know. It's like, let me stop. I don't need, I don't need to be being. I don't need to be being. But um, so that's how I shop, and that's how I effectively shop, and that's how I keep stuff in the house all the time too. Because say if it's like a bad week or a bad month, and especially now because I'm like full time entrepreneur, um, and we got just whatever we got in the deep freezer or in the regular freezer then that's all we gonna have like but i shop to have abundance but i also budget shop so i get the most that i can get and i've said this in, vi in videos before but i get the most that i can get at the time that i have it so that way we won't ever go without like and i was raised in a house that like my mom always bought a bunch of stuff she didn't do the budget part but she just always had a bunch of stuff so it's a gift and a curse but i've learned to never be without so that's how I think financial, like financially and shopping wise, like I always try to get as much as I can for my money. Also, detergent. So usually detergent, I'll wait till, um, some people don't use Ajax. I like Ajax because um, I can't use the Tide one, whatever the Tide one is that goes on sale, I can't use it, it messes my skin up. So Ajax, um, Persil, and it's another one that I can use, but Ajax goes on sale a couple times a year for 99 cents you have to have the digital coupon you have to have you know the correct stuff for it or you're gonna be paying a dollar fifty which is still not bad but ajax 
if you wash a lot of clothes or if you don't wash a lot of clothes i know i wash clothes very seldom because i have too many of them but ajax 99 cent you can get 12 and have them for the whole year just like toilet paper again i still haven't bought any toilet paper since before the pandemic because i wait until every year shop right here's a sale and you spend 25 and you get 10 back or something like that and i always go and buy a bunch of toilet paper and a bunch of scott so bunch of toilet paper is i think it's like once a year though bunch of toilet paper bunch of paper towels but i ran out of paper towels because i be like i use a, a lot of paper towels not saying i use toilet paper but i use wipes as well walmart wipes so I guess that's why I don't use as much toilet paper. And I don't have people over that much either. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I want to, I did a um, story sale. This is my first week doing a story sale. Now, some people's story sales are normal. Like they post stuff in their story all the time and sell it. For me, I try to make it like, you know, a whole vibe. But it, I'm not going to say a flop because as a business owner, you're going to have good days, you're going to have bad days. And... But I'm going to continue to keep doing it. And as long as I'm consistent, it's going to pay off. Watch, watch, watch. But um, I just wanted to show you guys what I personally got from the thrift store when I went thrifting to do my resale. Yes, I wanted to just show you guys what I got for me personally. Now, honestly, I don't need anything else. Like I just said, I have too many clothes. But I be seeing like some stuff that I be like, damn, I can't leave. Like I have to get this for myself. So I've been wearing, since I cut my hair, I've been wearing a lot of wraps or I've been learning to wrap my hair. So every time I go to the thrift store, I find more wraps. And of course they be like for the low. And I only, even at the thrift store, honey, I'm not paying full price. I only go to the thrift store on deal days. So I break up on inventory to sell and my Etsy sales will be out. Or should I say, I'll be uploading more stuff to my Etsy store this week um but this scarf half off it was two dollars now i have lavender now i have green i'm gonna try to make this quick though because i already got pretty much my weekly video and it's just an added bonus this one was two dollars too oh my god y'all this shirt you see the material i love stuff like this don't ask me why i just love it's not linen but it's like soft and like flowy material I love stuff like that. I think I paid $2.50 for that. New scarf loading. But I got this one. This is new too, but this one is um like a darker color. Um, this white dress. Now I'm gonna try this on again because I hate stuff that don't have pockets. But this white dress is really cute and it was six. Um, you probably ain't gonna be able to get the whole full full effect of it because I'm sitting and I'm not about to try it on because I don't feel like it, but yeah. The buttons, it's really cute, but again, it don't have pockets, so. I was talking to my cousin on the phone, she's like, just wear a fanny pack with it, so we'll see. Um, also this, I couldn't leave this, it was $2. And this is like a long dress kind of thing. Like I hate, I mean, I hate, I, at this age, I really hate tight stuff unless it's like, um, what do they call them? Like biker shorts. Y'all, I've had a black hoodie since elementary school. How do you not have a staple black hoodie? Like, I don't know where my black hoodie went. So I needed to buy a new black hoodie. That was $3.50. These shorts had pockets in their summer and they flowy and they're not tight. You think I wasn't gonna buy them with pockets? These were two. Can't wait to wear it old. Break them out, break them out. Oh, I got these for Riley. I didn't even show her. These are these was two. Little pocket in the back. Little athletic shorts. I don't even know like what brand that is. Let me see. Tech gear, whatever that is. Got those for Riley. Yo, yo, look at these pants. Oh my God, I cannot wait to freak these out. Now, oh, they do got pockets. Ah, I can't wait to wear these silken sexy pants. Stop playing with me. These were $2. I got another, I got another and another and another. I'm really excited about this whole, honestly. $3, this was $1.50. Now these don't have pockets, but I can't wear I can't wait to freak these out too, y'all. 
this dress like I, I hate dresses that are see-through but this dress was just like so soft and comfy it's from forever 21 it was 350 like high neck like i'm going to vegas and i want like a lot of like just flowy stuff to wear and i'm pr probably not gonna be able to wear undergarments with it but then these was what these was 99 cents so i'm like why not get them they don't have pockets but loose flowy comfortable that's me and then i got this this is for the winter but this was two dollars too and I just like the material of you see how it like but yeah that's all folks I will see you guys next week let me know if you want to see anything special particular any type of try-ons but again I am here to create a community um, I have so many things going on right now in the works and positive things moving forward in my business. So please continue to keep watching the journey and watch the formation of this queen on her throne. I will see you guys next week again. Thank you for watching SBG Eos.